Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and today I am doing my quarter two update for my 23 in 2023. I did a plan to pan video either December or January where I outlined the 23 items, makeup items in my collection that I wanted to use up this year. And so I have been doing updates every quarter. I'll make sure to link my playlist down below and also link my last update up in the eye. But today we're going over quarter two and I have some exciting, exciting updates. If you've been keeping track of my empties, my project pans, my... I don't know, did I use any of these in deck of panning? I think I did, but if you've been keeping track of my other projects, of course you may have seen these items, but I want to go ahead and review them in one lumped video, just so I can look back on my 23 items that I selected. So like I said, I'm very happy with the progress that I have been making, and I am well on my way to being able to use up my 23 items this year. In the first quarter, I did use up five items, and then this quarter I used up 11. Let me count again and just make sure my number's right. Yes, 11. I used up 11 of my products in the second quarter. Now, of course, this makes sense to me because I was able to have a full six months with these products, and so I was able to use a lot of them up. But let's go ahead and I'll do a quick little review of my quarter one items, which again, there's only five. So we'll do a quick review of those and then we'll go over the 11 items that I ended up using up this quarter. So the five items that I used up in quarter one were a mini of the Urban Decay Black Eyeliner. I used up the Quick Liner from Clinique, and this is also in the black shade. I ended up using up the Too Faced Hangover Balm in Mango. I used up the Belief Beauty Foundation, and I also used up, and this is very reflective, the number seven powder. I did use this compact and I repressed a Franken bronzer in it, so I am currently using this compact, but this was one of my items on my 23 in 2023. So those are my five items that I used up in quarter one. So let's go ahead and get into the items that I used up in quarter two. If you hear a lot of puppy dog noises, they're a little bit restless. We have a storm about to roll in, which we greatly need. Um, I think it was like 97 degrees today, but it feels like 106 with like 60% humidity. And so I had to touch my makeup up uh, whenever I got home from running errands because I was an absolute grease ball. So if my makeup does not look that good, it's because it tried to melt off my face today. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into these products. The first item that I used up in uh, the second quarter was on April 9th, and that was my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. This is just one of the very tiny minis. This might have been a point perk or I got it in like a Sephora play set. So this was a very small product. This only had 1.15 grams in it. So again, it's still a highlighter that counts in my collection. And so I'm glad that I was... Y'all heard that thunder, right? <laughs> we'll see how much I can get through and if I need to cut out any thunder. But uh, I was happy to get through this. The next item I went through, I ended up using this up on April 14th, and that is my ColourPop Lip Liner in a Little One. So I sharpened it all the way down to the plastic. There was no product left in there, and so this is how big, and I'll put a comparison with the cap, that's how big the nubs get <laughs> when you get down to the bottom. And so I, this what, this took me seven, eight months to go through using it pretty much every time I did my makeup. So I am super thrilled to have another lip liner rolled out of my collection. The next item I used up, I used this up on May 10th, and that is my NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. This was in my deck of panning, and I did use this primarily as a cheek product. I really loved it as a cheek product. It was absolutely an amazing formula for that. I'm guessing I would want to try maybe NARS's liquid blush formula and see if it kind of compared to even what this formula was, but it was a beautiful color. I loved wearing these cool tone blush looks in the springtime, and so I am super excited to get this out of my collection. And let's see here, this one I purchased in 2020, and so this was going on three years old, so I'm really glad I was able to use this up. 
Also on May 10th, I did end up finishing my Becca bronzer. And so that is a nice shiny pan in there. This I also got at a TJ Maxx after Becca had gone out of business. And so I bought this bronzer in 2021. So very thrilled to get it out of my collection. I think I had exactly like a hundred uses on it to use it up to completion. I did have to repress it a couple times, but I'm happy to get another bronzer rolled out because shame on me. Uh, look forward to my buys and buys that I post on like the 14th of the month because I may have gone a little bit bronzer happy. And so definitely tune in for that one to see what bronzer I picked up. Uh, but after that, oh, actually there was another bronzer. So I ended up using up the Wet n Wild Contour Stick Bronzer. And this I used up on the 19th of May. I scraped everything out of it and I ended up like melting this into another compact and using up the rest of it that way. I think I ended up getting like another three weeks worth of use by pulling everything out of the tube. Uh, but overall, I like this product. I have other ones that I like more, and so I am super thrilled to have this out of my collection. This one I purchased in 2022, so I was able to get through this one relatively quickly. The next item, I used this one up at the very end of May, and this is my NARS Soft Mac Complete Concealer. I think that's the name of it, but it is completely done. I had it in the shade Creme Brulee Light 2.5, and I really did love this formula. I actually do plan on picking up another one of these during one of the VIB or like end of year sales that Sephora is going to have. And I really actually miss this in my collection. And so I'm super thrilled to be able to get it back into my life and back into my makeup usage. But this one I am just super happy to have done. I'm also happy to get my money's worth on it. Um, this I purchased with one of the last times that I had enough Sephora points to get the Rouge Rewards and get the $100 gift card. That's what I used to purchase this concealer. And... I think that, what year was that? That was 2021. So 2021 was the last time that I was rouge. And I think that after 2021, I really took a step back and I looked at my budget, <laughs> my financial goals, my collection, and that's where I made my mindset shift in 2022. And it rolled over into this year of where I want my, again, my money and my collection to be. So again, I am happy to have used this up and not see it go to waste because it takes a lot of time to save up enough points at Sephora to get one of those Rouge rewards. So I did not wanna waste all of that time and money. The next product that I ended up using up, I used it up on the 1st of June and that is my Tarte Blush in Party. This is just one of the minis. I think we all got these. Um, this was like birthday gift 2017, um, but I used up another one of these either last year or the year before, and this was a second one that came in like a Sephora play, and so this is the second of the Tarte parties that I have been able to use up, but super thrilled about that. I think with the amount of, like, I think I tracked it and it was like 121 uses to use up the entire thing. So I did um, roll into this year. I think I already had pan on it from using it last year, but overall I was able to finish this blush. So super excited to get a blush rolled out of my collection and kind of be mindful about my blush numbers. The next item that I used up, and this one was empty on June 13th, and that is my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Um, this is okay. I really want them to come back with the Jelly Pop. I'm gonna keep saying it <laughs> until maybe the e.l.f. gods bring it back, but this was fine. Um, you get like 20 less uses in this compared to the Jelly Pop, but the Jelly Pop also has more product in it. But still, I was kind of disappointed to only get like 46 uses on this primer before it was done. But overall, glad to have it out of my collection. I did purchase this in 2022, so I did get it used up before it hit the one year mark in my collection. Oh, this one's exciting. So I ended up finishing my ColourPop lipstick. And I am really intentional about using up my lipsticks because they're all getting kind of old right now. More thunder. <laughs> this lipstick, I purchased it in January of 2020. And so this was, you know, 
it's three and a half years old at this point, but I did dig everything out of here. I did call it done when I was flush with the plastic. I dug the rest out and I melted it down into one of my Franken blushes because I was, I was just done with it at that point. I didn't want to put my fingers into it to use it up. So overall, I'm super thrilled. This was in the shade Virgo Moon and I would actually repurchase this shade and this formula. I loved it, I loved using it, and I kind of miss it in my collection right now. But I have some more lipsticks that I need to go through before I would purchase another one, but I'm super thrilled to have another bullet lipstick rolling out of my collection. Blush number two for the year, and that is my Stila Convertible Color in Ilium. And this one is completely done. And I purchased this one. This came in like FabFitFun was having an add-on and this was on the list for that. So I got this in a FabFitFun add-on in 2021. So this was about two years old whenever I finished it. And who knows how long it had been on the shelf before it ended up with FabFitFun, <laughs> you know, on one of their deals. So it was about time to be uh, rolled out of my collection, but I was super thrilled to be able to use this up. I loved the formula. I love the color. I've already gone into store and like swatched the other um, shades in this formula to see if I'd like to pick one up. And I, I, I mean, I have, I have no negatives about this product. It lasted forever. Like I was consciously using this and consciously like applying this last year and this year. And so this is a fabulous product. Um, I got it for twelve dollars through FabFitFun, but I think they're like 20 something uh, full price and I would definitely pay $20 for one of these blushes. Y'all are just getting all of the thunder in the background. The, the lights flashed right before I started filming, so hopefully I will continue to have power. But we are on to my last empty before we go into the products that I'm still working on, and that would be my Bobbi Brown corrector. And so this just finished up in my project pan, so this took me until the very end of June to use this up. Of course, I'm filming this in July, and I have already started to use my stick corrector from Bobbi Brown, and I love that formula so much better. And so I'm glad that I had the opportunity to try both, but I will consistently go back to the stick. It is just so much easier, and I feel like it applies the right amount of product, where this one I kind of felt like I always got a little bit too much. So super thrilled to have the stick, super thrilled to have this rolled out of my collection. This was another one of the concealers that I bought with the Rouge Rewards. And so again, while I got it for quote unquote free because I used points, it took a lot of time and money <laughs> to get those points to rack up. And so I'm super thrilled to be able to use up this product. And so again, this came from um, May of 2021. So again, it was two years old when I was able to use it up. So that leaves us with our remaining items. And I know I talked in my last video about my feelings about these two Clinique eyeliners. And I think, I was thinking about rolling them out now, but I'm almost there. Um, I put the brown one on today for my look and I kind of, I'm to the point where I'm like scribbling. <laughs> and you know, if you have a nice juicy liner and you scribble with it, it is going everywhere. So that's why I know that I'm kind of like down to the last bits of these. I do store them in a cup on my desk and I store them tip down just to try to get as much product into that, that uh, brush as possible. But let me see. Oh yeah, the black one is skipping a little bit and that one, so yeah, the black one is going to need to go very, very soon. Um, and then the brown one, yeah, the brown one still has some juice left in it. So I'm gonna leave these in. I'm gonna continue to use them. I'm gonna give them like the real college try. <laughs> and I think the black one will be used up very shortly. I'm gonna try to incorporate this into some looks over the next month. And so definitely by next um, update, I'll have these rolled out. And of course, when I do use them up, you'll see them in my buys and buys, which I always post on the 14th. And so I'm just going to leave these in. I'm gonna be true to the project and I'm gonna give these my all, but really we're on our last legs with these. From there, we have my, my Franken bronzer, my mixed bronzer, and this is in my large pan. And so this is where we're at. 
If you saw my project pan update, then you saw this big old pan. I am going to repress this, but I wanted to film this video before I repressed it just so you guys could see this beautiful pan. Um, but I am just weighing the pan on this and so but we are looking real good this does have my hourglass powder mixed into it so definitely when I use this up I will be able to consider that hourglass powder empty and so that is a 50 something dollar product that I'll be able to finally check off my list and get rolled out of my collection um, but definitely I'm making really smooth progress on this and I anticipate this definitely being done before the next update for this project. Next we have my NARS foundation. This is the soft matte foundation and these are my line markings from being in my project pan. And so this last line marking right here was the end of June. Um, again, I'll link my last project pan update because I'll have all my weights and my comparisons and my uses and stuff like that. But I'm consistently doing my makeup anywhere from like 24 to 25 times per month. And so I'm definitely getting really great progress. I'm curious how much longer I have with this product. If we're looking at these lines here, it's almost like I have another five months. And I would say that this would be really good bang for your buck then. <laughs> but I ended up picking this up in 2020. So September of 2020, I got this. Um, I think during September, uh, Sephora runs like a 20% off foundations deal. And so I did pick that up during that promotion. And so I am super thrilled to finally get that rolled out of my collection. Because like I said, that foundation is three years old. And again, shame on me for having that sitting in my collection for three years and not using it. Even though I know the way that I pan, I kind of focus on one item until it's done. So I had a lot of other foundations to get through before I even got to this one. And that's where I've changed my mentality about my buying with my makeup. I did just do a mid-year inventory where I, got, I show you guys pictures of my collection and also what has come in and like my spreadsheets and all my all my dorky stuff <laughs> that I do for my panning. So I'll link that down below and up in the eye as well so that you guys can check out my mid-year inventory. Uh, from there we had my MAC paint pot and this is where we're at with that big old pan. I am using this every single day I do my makeup as my eyeshadow primer. I did purchase this in 2021. This was part of, I think, a 21 Days of Beauty back then. And so I'm still really doing really well and doing really well with my like weights that I'm consistent. And so I still think that I will be done with this by the end of the year. But if anybody has ever panned a paint pot, Bless you for that, because this is definitely a long haul product, but it is just so satisfying seeing that, um, seeing the glass in the middle just kind of expand every single month. As soon as I was done with my lip liner in Little One, I did roll in my next oldest ColourPop liner, and this one is in another round, and this is how much I have left of it. I have been making really good progress. Um, I might have already been doing this, but I might pop up some pictures from my project pan, how I'm tracking things, just so you guys can maybe get an idea of what my usage looks like on some of these things that I like measure on my panning journal. But definitely making really good progress on this. I did make a line down here that correlates with the size of the empty lip liner. And so I think with my progress that I'm having right now, I should be able to also have this lip liner done by the end of the year. And that would be two lip liners out of my collection and ColourPop lip liners at that because these take forever. And that will be so satisfying. So really looking forward to continuing to get progress on this. But I don't, it's not going to be rolled out by the next update for this project. It'll definitely be done by the finale. And last but not least, I have my Tarte highlighting palette. And I keep saying I need to go back and watch that video to see what my goal was because hopefully my goal was not to pan the whole thing because that will not be happening. But my main thing was, and I think I said this last update, was that I ended up frankening some other highlighters into these two pans down here. And so my goal really is to use up these two pans of highlighter. And as you can see, I have some really fantastic, you know, 
wide pans in there. So I am well on my way to being able to use up those two highlighters and super excited about my progress on this. And this is just going to be a highlighter palette that I continuously kind of like roll into projects. Eventually I would love to get the whole thing used up because this palette is from July of 2017 but it still works, it still smells great, it doesn't hurt my skin, and so I still love the formula on this. So I am so excited about my progress that I've been able to make. So that was my update for my 23 in 2023. Three more months of usage and I was able to use up 11 products. That is just amazing to me. And I really do anticipate, I would say I'll have three more things done next update. And then the rest of them is really just going to be like a stretch through the end of the year to get them done. And so I am really excited about continuing to use these. Make sure to check out my other project pans. That's where I'm using a lot of these products. If I end up with a prompt and deck of panning, I try to pull for these items as well. But with the small amount of items that I have in, I think everything, everything except for the liquid eyeliners are already rolled into my project pan. So I am just, like I said, I'm I'm in the long haul. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be continuing to use these every day that I do my makeup. I still love these products. I haven't gotten tired of them, but I am super thrilled with the progress that I've been able to make. But now I turn it over to you guys in the comment section. How are you doing on your panning goals for this year? Are you doing a 23 in 2023? What are we gonna do about a 24 in 2024? I'm up for the challenge, but let's see what my collection looks like at the end of the year. But overall, I am super thrilled about my progress. I thank you guys so much for watching. Do all the things. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you're enjoying my content. Leave me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I upload next. I thank you guys so much for being here. But as the thunderstorm rolls in, I'll go ahead and sign off. So I will see you guys in my next one.